Okay, in this little clip, we're just gonna review why should we side bend and even worry about that in a backswing? So we'll look at uh, address here. So I just hold the club across my shoulders here and make a turn. Now what I'm doing is staying bent forward and rotating. It may not look that bad from here, but if you've looked at any good golf swings ever, you would never, probably ever, in the history of ever see anyone look like that who plays golf for a living at the top of their swing. What am I looking at? Well, obviously the head is way over, a <laughs> uh, foot past the right leg and the spine is completely uh, bent forward but turned to the right. So in a second I'm gonna show you how to fix that, but imagine what that does to the, to the golfer, okay? So if you think of the sternal notches or the head as the center of the swing or this little point underneath your chin, um, that's miles behind where we might play the ball, right? So that's going to introduce the low point. It's going to be behind the ball. So then we get the necessity to chicken wing, fold the arms in. Um, if we don't do that in time, we'll have to stand up. We'll have to um, fight fat and thin shots, etc. So that's why this is important and then the remedy you may want to do this a couple times yourself um, is to actually stand up completely out of forward bend and then side bend and i generally tell people to go to the point where you, if you take your left if your left right handed golfer left hand off and if you can touch your knee your left knee um, that's obviously me side bending to the right or sorry to the left and then when I rotate, that puts me in a position where the head is much more centered in between the feet and the sternal notch is in the center of the feet. Okay, so you can't always look exactly at the head because some people tilt their neck like I do, etc. But that should give you the reminder of why we need to do this and how it affects the low point of the swing. Okay.